Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Greet Tarot. So how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day for you. So if you're new here, if you like my content, please support my channel. If you have already supported me, thank you so very much for all the love and the support. Thank you. Thank you so very much. So in the description box, I have my Instagram page link. If you want to follow me there, go ahead and give it a follow. And the decks that I'll be using in this reading will also be listed. So the topic for today is urgent messages and guidance from your spirit guides. That's the topic. Remember, these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And these are timeless readings as well. So whenever you watch, this reading might have a message for you. So as you can see, I have three groups to three groups for you guys. Okay, so for group number one, uh, this is the beautiful charm here. We have the heart charm with the peace symbol. For group number two, it's the star. And for group number three, we have this fairy I like to call it as like a god fairy okay so close your eyes relax you can go by the images but choose intuitively the timestamps will be in the description box and I will see you in your group hello namaste group number one you have chosen this heart with this peace symbol and you have chosen the blue Tara and uh, <clears throat> so Let's see what is the urgent messages and guidance from your spirit guides. So your heart is going to be very peaceful and you will feel very harmonious. You will be feeling very satisfied within yourself. I really feel like your inner self is going to be very happy. That's the energy. You will be feeling very peaceful, very harmonious. You will be feeling very aligned with yourself, with your body. That's what I'm getting here. That's what is happening in the coming days here. That is the transformation. I was very attracted to the snake here and the sun, right? Your aura, your aura is brightening. That's what the energy is, I feel like. Like the lotus, the lotus uh, rises above the muddled waters, isn't it? Like that you are also rising. So you're getting a lot of clarity. Your, your intuition is very clear now. And you're getting a lot of clarity that's why there's a lot of peace and harmony in yourself that's what i feel like so you're rising above your your doubts you're rising above the confusion you have you're going to be very clear so if there ha there has been a situation that was con confusing you i feel like your spirit team is telling you that your spirit guides are telling you that that confusion will be soon over and a peaceful resolution will be given to you guys and that will lead to a lot of peace and harmony within yourself so you're going to understand things very very clearly okay so trust your intuition uh yes if things have been a little confusing right now that is not going to be uh, there for very long time things are going to change for you guys I feel like that's the message I'm getting from this card here and we have number 17 uh, so maybe a number that you see is 717 so right now it's spirit guides are telling you that you are on the right track yes yeah, sometimes things might feel confusing but that's not going to be there for so long this thing that is confusing if you are feeling in crossroads the answers to your questions are coming and there is a peaceful resolution there is healing coming definitely okay uh, again communication for some of you it can be with communication there has been a little bit <clears throat> incomplete answers if you have you know sometimes some people say incomplete things like a story like I'm getting like a story that is incomplete and then we want to know the complete story and because we are we don't have that complete picture we're a little confused we are not feeling good so you're getting the complete picture of certain things and that's why you are rising well now there is no doubt there is no confusion and you're very clear on what you need to do what you should do where you're going and that's why there is a lot of peace and harmony in your heart so that's what the message is okay so let's see <clears throat> So I feel like uh, right now you need to be more patient with yourself and uh, yes, that's very important. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has to add. What is the messages and guidance for you group number one from your spirit guides? Oh look, we have this three of, oh the number three. Okay, twice it came. Again, the matters of heart look this is two different energy this is three of swords someone is in pain their heart is in pain because they're disappointed where this empress she is fulfilled 
right she she is she has full control of her her life she is very creative she has all the abundance right she believes in herself look to two opposite energies here right yeah so i'm going to keep this here so before i say anything i would i would like to shuffle more so let's see what else what else four of pentacles okay so i have one more deck oh we have the ten of cups as the back of the deck energy there is definitely fulfillment uh, coming and something that has been disappointing that that has been confusing it's going to be ending you will be very clear you will be feeling stable secure in yourself you will be feeling very fulfilled that's what the message is here okay so let's see more uh, with these cards as well then so what is the messages and guidance from your spirit guides group number one okay we have the six of, look we have three of swords and six of swords here then okay we have the chariot and we have the father of wands here okay and here we have the back of the deck as ace of wands so so uh, definitely a new beginning here oh we have one more card the wheel of fortune is also there okay so let me take that as well so yes okay so let me um tell what i'm seeing here so there has been a situation that is paining you a lot right maybe this is your current situation maybe this is with uh, the matters of uh, your creativity or your money or it can be regarding your fertility uh yes there is a lot of confusion there is a lot of frustration there is a lot of pain there is a lot of disappointment as well so here right now you are not in this energy of harmony at all right and uh and again the sixth number for me is all about peace harmony and you got this peace sign here in this heart charm so right now you are not satisfied you're not fulfilled you're a little bit confused but here you are going to rise above this this thing you will be very very clear on what you need to do so the next steps are going to be given to you guys for some of you i i really feel like you are going to get some clarity when you will be traveling somewhere are you guys traveling somewhere so maybe if you're traveling somewhere you will get this uh, idea or this answer okay because when we are traveling we are a little bit calm isn't it we are not stressed we are not uh, into this mundane things and all we are not thinking about work we are actually enjoying so if, while traveling i feel like this thing that has been hurting you you're going to get clarity clarity okay that's one thing and again there is there is an aspect of travel here movement here progress here so there is some sort of stuck energy right there is some sort of stuck energy that is make making you a little confused not giving you the satisfaction that you need and exactly that is what is coming here that's what the prediction is there is healing coming there is satisfaction coming uh, there is a lot of abundance coming because with this empress that is what i'm seeing here for some of you I really feel like when you're traveling you will meet someone who will give you some sort of advice and that is going to change your life. For example, this is just a scenario, right? If you're trying to conceive and you have been seeing a lot of doctors, nothing is working out, then you go and travel and you meet somewhere someone and some stranger will suggest or they will share their experience with something. Maybe they will uh, share a video that will be really helpful for you guys and that will make you understand what's why is this happening? and you will get clarity and that will change things and you are going to get exactly what you want right so again you will be getting some advice on your food what you need to change you know the exact it, it feels like you're getting the getting clear on something that is not unclear here and it it feels like you were in a web now you're out of the web it's like happening very suddenly right and this disappointments you're not going to be disappoint disappointed anymore because with the six of swords you're moving to the karma waters you will feel stable you will feel secure that's the energy i'm picking up here really your this wheel of fortune is indicating there is luck happening luck coming you're meeting the right people at the right time but you need to be very patient with yourself because there are chances 
there are chances that you might beat yourself up with this disappointment and you might overdo something that you don't have to do so just wait right now and if you can uh, travel if you're planning for travel just go and enjoy the travel because because that is where you will uh, find some sort of clarity there is clarity there is understanding definitely coming that is going to change your life that is going to give you inspiration and idea mm. That will change a lot of things in your life that you're worried about, okay? And that will give a lot of healing to your heart. There's, there is going to give a lot of fulfillment to your heart. Yes, your answers are coming here. So let's see what else. It can be with a person as well. Yeah, if there has been a person in your life that disappointed you, I feel like you're getting answers, clarity. Now you're not going to be disappointed anymore because you know, as I told, something was incomplete, something was like, like something was missing and you were not able to uh, see the full picture here. And while you're traveling, you will get some sort of information that will complete the, complete the full picture, right? It feels like some of you have seen the half picture and you're wondering what are the ha half you know, it's like you're just wondering and it gives you a lot of stress here. But finally you're able to find that missing piece here. That's, that's, and I feel like you'll be taking action. When you get this information, you will take action and that will lead to security, stability. Your heart will be fulfilled. That's what I have to say here. And I'm very attracted to the crown here. So it feels like you will feel things are in control. You know, right now I feel like you feel like things are not in your control. Everything is out of your control. Uh, there is some sort of lack here. I'm, I'm, I'm sensing the energy of lack very strongly here. In some area of your life, you really feel like you're lacking. And that's haunting you, I feel like. This is the this is the thing that you always think about. It's always in your back of you know, back of your mind. This is the thing you think about a lot. You're not able to get, get it out, no matter how hard you try. And there is a solution coming to this thing that will heal your heart. That's the message here. So your advice will be to be more patient with yourself right now. Because this thing is shifting for you guys. Okay. Things are changing for you guys. There is movement. You're not going to be stuck anymore here. So be ready to get out of your comfort zone. Again, look, you, you're getting the power. You're feeling that things are in your power. The wheel is in your hands. The crown, like again, the crown is in her hand. She has, she can make the decision who needs to wear it, right? So yes, the power is what is coming your way. You will have the power. Right now, you don't feel like it, that anything is in your control. You feel like everything is out of your, uh, your, your control. That's what I feel like here. So you feel like you're just living a life that other people are setting you up for. But that's not the case. That's what is changing here. So some sort of information you will be getting that will clear up this confusion, this stuckness uh, or some sort of progress is happening that will really clear. And if you're traveling, I feel like you will find this information, this piece of information that is missing. You will be, you will be when you're traveling, you will find that, that piece of information there. Okay. Yeah. That's what the message is. Definitely things are going to be good for you guys mentally. Things are going to uh, be, you know, again with the six of swords, it feels like mentally things are going to this calmer waters. You will be feeling fulfilled. Yes, healing is happening. Don't worry right now. That's what the advice is here. The power is coming. The power will be in your hands. Things will be in your control here. So let's see. Again, a communication. For some of you, this is communication that is coming and it will make you feel things are in control. You will not be feeling stuck here. So let's see more here. Oh, wow. We have again the intuition. Your intuition is uh, sharing something with you. But if you are going to be in this disappointed energy, you're not going to trust your intuition. You will be only... I'll be focusing more on these fears, disappointments, this lack, right? Once you let go of those kinds of thoughts, that's where you will be able to access here. You have the power. You, If you want to create anything in your life, you have the power. But if you are not in that positive state, if you are thinking negative thoughts all the time, you're not going to be, you know, you'll not be feeling powerful and you will not create something that you want to create, right? So here I see that you're getting your power back. As you get your power back, you will understand where was the mistake because you will be very clear and you will change it. That's how you're taking the control back here. So some sort of information 
guidance is going to be given to you guys. I really feel like that. And it will just click. And the small change that you will make will turn around things for you. That's what the message is here. So let's see what else. There is a lot of light. There is a lot of uh, creative energy. I feel like that's coming into your life. Maybe this is a book that is going to change your life. Maybe a stranger is going to, uh, you know, sometimes some some things, some places can shift our, our energy, our consciousness. And that's exactly I see for you guys. That's what is a change. That's what is happening. Are you traveling, guys? I feel like your travel uh, is going to be a mem This travel will be a very memorable one for you guys here. You will be able to get out of this this locks you will you're finding the key actually you know you have been staying in this comfort zone not, uh, not uh, feeling like this is where i'm supposed to i cannot have more than this but you are breaking this limitation because you're getting some sort of understanding and that's what is changing things for you so this is this is bringing a lot of fulfillment a lot of clarity into your life yes this this uh, information and that's why things will be changing here so some sort of yeah, some sort of information, ideas that is going to bring your power back here. Okay, and you need to express yourself more, okay? You need to show yourself. You need to be authentic to yourself. And the more you're authentic, the more good things will follow, right? So if where in your life you feel like you're not honest, where you're not authentic, you need to ask that to yourself, okay? So let's see. Okay, you got and peaceful again. There is peace of mind. Look again, your heart is feeling peaceful. So something is there that is bothering you guys right now. And here, uh, the thing that is coming here your way is this peace of mind. You're getting the clarity here with this third eye chakra. Now you're not seeing something. That's why you're feeling powerless. You feel like things are out of your control. That you don't have control of over anything. You're feeling like that, right? But there is that the control is coming the power is coming and that's why you will have this peace of mind there is a lot of fulfillment here i see for you guys that okay so um i heal the poisons of my mind that limit and deny me by aligning with pure and honest thought and belief that's what i was talking here you need to be more honest with yourself you need to release the toxic thought thinking patterns you have that's something you need to really really work on uh, have a gratitude journal write the gratitude a list uh, who who you know sometimes it's very easy for us to not see the things we have in our life so please uh, do that or listen to a gratitude meditation i will recommend that for you guys when you wake up in the morning just do that I joy, joyfully recognize when I'm thinking limited thoughts from my conditioning. That's the thing. That's, there is some sort of limited patterns, limited thinking with this four of pentacles that is taking away your power from you, right? You're very powerful people, but there is something. And that's what is going to click for you guys. That's what, that is the thing. This limited mindset, you don't know right now what is it. That is stopping you uh, from getting that peace of mind, right? Once you let go of that, the peace of mind is going to happen. It's going to come, right? So yes, uh, there is some sort of information that will, that will, you know, you will be able to uh, place all the puzzle pieces together and complete the work. That's what I feel like because there has been something that has been half, like half information. Now you're getting the full information that is changing things for you, okay? I joyfully recognize when I'm thinking limited thoughts from my conditioning and realign the thoughts and beliefs that serve my growth and well-being. I choose to question my perspective and think loving, supporting thoughts. But yes, the advice here is whenever you're th th thinking any limited kind of thoughts, this is something that you need to be more aware of and change. Okay. But I feel like you're getting more information regarding it, how you can change. That's something I'm seeing here. There is some sort of click click happening here okay i have to say that uh so let's see the final message here from the angel cards here okay we have the number 28 i am a leader yes right now you're not feeling like that you're just feeling like a follower who follows people and you cannot you feel like you're not in power or charge of your own life i feel like that's what is happening you're taking that power back you're becoming the leader of your own life here uh, but sometimes we need to take that power by thinking good thoughts the thoughts that that uh, that are that feel good to us that make us feel good so that is only the thing that you need to focus on so right now just focus on gratitude be more patient uh, 
focus on positive thoughts and whenever you're seeing yourself thinking those negative thoughts you need to change change it by through prayer through meditation through gratitude okay in an effort to accomplish great things you recognize the value of working with others you make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement again i feel like there are good people that are coming your way there might be a conversation that will make you understand something so as i told maybe a conversation with a uh, stranger will make you understand something because they will show their point of view and that point of view will change your perception regarding certain thing and that will change things uh, things for you and you will not feel that disappointed you some sort of uh, understanding is coming here that's what i have to say here okay so that that was the message here for you guys hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye namaste group number 2 you have chosen the star charm and we have the sri bala card with number 27 so you are very wise whatever your age is doesn't matter you are very wise so maybe you are in an environment in that environment you are the wise person even if you're 18 or even if you're in 50s the people around you don't have the wisdom that you carry and here the message is to listen to your self to chase your dreams yes maybe this dream that you have might not be the cup of tea for other people but it is your cup of tea so whatever inspiration whatever wisdom you're getting from your heart go and do it don't wait for the validation from other people don't wait for the permission from other people this is the time to believe in yourself and go and do it what is it your heart is telling you to do just go because you have the permission from your spirit guides because right now maybe you will not get validation My, right now maybe people will look at you like what are you doing is this even going to work out let them look like that because the validation that you need will come later but right now trust your own inspiration trust your own wishes you have this wish it's time to take action towards it don't let anyone stop you you are so wise here that's what your spirit team is telling you spirit guides are telling you okay so this is the time to chase your dreams with the star this is the time to go and do what you wish to do you know you can you can make your dreams come true so believe in yourself group number 2 what is stopping you if some if other people are stopping you this is not the time to validate them this is not the time to uh, stop chasing your dreams because other people don't like it this is the time to follow your inner heart this is the time to uh, trust your own inspiration and go for it chase your dreams guys because you can make them happen so believe in yourself trust in yourself trust in or you in your own ideas that's what the message is group number 2 here let's see what else okay yes look we have the emperor you are the emperor don't become this the you know don't become a uh, a person who is like this emperor is controlling everyone right so become the emperor not this people who has been controlled by other people you have the power to become the emperor so you don't have to do what other people are doing you you can be someone who can uh, who can do something new and and when you do something new many people will follow it like you are you are you are someone who has been called to do something different something unique right now people will not understand that but later they will okay uh, it reminds me of this uh, conditioning card in osho deck the devil card in which there is a group of sheep and then there is a lion and everyone the sheep uh, the lion thinks he is a sheep but definitely he is not a sheep right so in that story other uh, another lion comes and make him realize that he is not the sheep he is the lion he has more power so uh, they he tells him to take his power back uh, and now he don't have to act like a sheep right so like that only we are in a society where everyone is doing the same thing like we have to get this we have to get that then so if someone is unique if they want their direction people will stop and here you want to do something different unique yes many people might not have done it only little people might have done it what you want to do but this is the time to become your own leader and make your own path you don't have to follow someone's path right now you have the permission from your spirit team they're telling you to chase your dreams yes chasing your dreams mean they means there will be ups and downs but here you have the power in you to make it happen make any of your dreams any of your biggest dreams you have the power to make it happen make it come true okay 
So that's what the message is here. Wow, you will be justified. You will be, you will get everything. What do you want? The more you give, you will get it. You will, because your spirit team is with you, you will get the justice. Like again, right now, maybe you will not get the validation for your work. Maybe you're, you, you, again, as I told, you want to do something different, something unique, but many people will not be ready to accept that. But that's okay. You keep doing you, you believe in yourself and the justice will follow, the validation will follow here and you will be justified. So yes, you yes, this is the time to listen to your own heart, not uh, other people's guidance because your heart knows what's best. Yes, look, this is a new beginning. This is a new start that you want for yourself. But there are a lot of people or maybe the surrounding that you are, uh, are right now, they might be holding you back in some way. This is to release all those talks, uh, all those thoughts that other people are giving you. This is the time to listen to your heart, guys. Your heart knows what's best for you. So listen to it without any fear, without any fear. Your heart is telling you, go and do it. Chase your dreams. Go, go. Because that will change your life. So let's see what, what else, what else <laughs> your spirit guides wants you to know here. Okay, we have the death. Oh, wow, we have the death and end of following other people, right? This is the end of a chapter here, right? So we have been uh, raised like that. We have to follow. We have to do this. We have to do that. Again, so many people are there with so many unique talents. But sometimes we, our society has been like we have to have this kind of job. We have to uh, get married by that age or we might have, have to have kids. We have to. It, it feels like society wants us to live the same kind of life. But you are not here to to do that right your heart wants something else for you you have the wisdom you have the knowledge and you know how to make your dreams come true but sometimes people around us the environment can be very toxic right sometimes uh, people kind of control us stop us uh, from dreaming too big right they say oh it's not possible for us we don't have that uh, don't dream too big <laughs> yeah sometimes our parents tell us like don't dream too big Sometimes society tells us, don't dream too big, it's not, it might not happen. But you know that it's possible for you guys, you know. So, and you don't have to follow that. You don't have to follow other people. You can make your own path, group number two. That's how powerful you are. So let go of any negative thoughts. Let go of the worry, what others will say or talk about you. Because yes, I feel like you care about other people. So maybe there is this uh, fear of failure. You know, many, many people procrastinate because of the fear of failure, isn't it? Maybe you have this dream in your heart, but there is a feeling like maybe if I fail, what, what if uh, what other people said was true? Uh, so if I do this, if I fail, they, I will be like uh, laughing, you know, laughing, people will laugh at me. Like sometimes these all worries can stop us from listening to our own heart, listening to our own dreams and we don't chase it, right? For here you are being told it's time to chase your dreams. It's time to end what other people think of you. It's, it's something that it's not at all your business. It's their business. You don't have to worry what they say about you. It's not that you have to carry, okay? And here with this justice in ace of cups, I feel like uh, for some of you, you have been procrastinating on this thing for a while. This is some, some, of, some of your wildest dreams. Uh, maybe this is like you want to travel somewhere, you want to uh, pick up a course, or you want to learn something new, but, but some sort of fear of failure has been stopping you. This is the time to end and this is the time to go and chase your dreams here. For some of you, this can be like getting a divorce. I don't know. Right? Maybe you are feeling very, very, uh, you're not feeling yourself in this relationship. But the fear of what others will say is stopping you from taking that next step. And here, here it's time. Time to end that relationship that is not working for you. Because you're not happy. This is the time to choose your own happiness. This is the time to choose your own dreams here. This is the time to, uh, to live a life that you want to live for yourself. This is not the time to follow other people. This is not the time to live uh, a life according to other people's terms and conditions. This is the time for this is the time for you to make your own terms and conditions and live life according to it. That's what the message is here from your spirit guides. So let's see. That's a lot here. 
yes oh wow we have the son of swords so for some of you you will be thinking is it an impulsive decision i'm making no you know again son of swords can be like that i'm making this decision too fast should i ask other people because you have this calling you have this feeling like i need to do this thing right it can be anything as i told uh, changing jobs uh, learning something new learning dancing um whatever it is right but the fear of rejection the fear of fear the fear of failure is stopping you the fear of other people what they will say is stopping you and you're like what if i make this impulsive decision what if uh, i i what if people will look at me and laugh these are these are all the things that is stopping you these are the toxic thoughts that is stopping you from this new beginning that you want for yourself can you free yourself from these to toxic thoughts and right now it's time to do this it's time to chase your dreams go and do it what your heart is telling you because you have the wisdom you you are the one who knows what's better for you your heart knows what's good for you yes maybe it's not uh, the way other people want you to live your life but that's what your heart wants you to uh, you know that's but your heart wants you to live a particular way your life right what i'm saying sorry yes your heart your, your heart knows and but you are you, you are not making a decision you're a little bit confused because you feel like maybe i'm impulsive maybe this is a wrong decision so i'll just keep on living my life like this and you know that this is not going to make you happy so here this is a permission from your spirit guides to chase your wildest dreams to go for it you're not making an impulsive decision so you know after you you make this change as fast as you can go and chase uh for this dream as fast as you can that's what the sun of swords stop uh, talking about because son of swords can be very impulsive right so don't be afraid that you're making an impulsive like again this is going to break look again we got the three of swords in uh, reverse the more you are not chasing this thing it will pain you guys it will make you in this toxic energy again the right color you'll be it feels like you are not here to follow other people you are here to make your own path and if you stay wherever you are you will feel in in pain and disappointment you will you will feel like you have no control over your, over your life you will not be happy you will not be happy that's what the message is so if you want to be happy this is the time to recognize your own strength believe in yourself trust in your own dreams and go for it and free yourself from what others will say whatever it is that is stopping you yes so there is a lot we oh this is a lot i cannot take all those i just want one more card here so let's see one more mm, yes son of cups again oh we got two nines here we have the son of cups and yes this is your look again how it fell here near the son of swords and son of cups again if you look at this knight of cups energy his very heart oriented he trusts his trust his heart he's actually very intuitive as well right and he he's uh, he he listens to his heart and it it is like here it came here right so again son of swords so your heart wants wants this right you want it very deeply you want to take action but at the same time your mind is coming in between and telling you what if this is a wrong decision what is this is an impulsive decision what if i regret it you know and that's stopping you from living a life that you want for yourself so are you ready to uh, live a life according to other people or are you ready to chase your dreams that's the question your spirit team is asking you here so let's see what else yes for some of you it's <laughs> look at abundance uh, yes some of you are worried about money some of you are worried about abundance uh, you know maybe you have a secure job right now leaving that job might be a very uh, huge thing right now and that's why you are staying somewhere where you don't like right many people do it but you need to understand that abundance is a state of mind isn't it what makes us happy if we keep doing what makes us happy it will give us the happiness so it's not about only the materialistic things it's about the happiness from inside as well so here when you follow your dreams you're not only going to get that happiness that you want it will give you the abundance as well the money will come right the uh, the the good good things that you want it will come as you change your energy as you believe in yourself as you trust in yourself the abundance will follow because it's a it's a mindset right um the more you are 
afraid the more you are thinking that you will not make it that's how you're going to live a life that other people want you to live but once you make the decision like i can make it happen i have the power i have the knowledge i have the wisdom maybe you are someone who knows about that you know that money is energy but then then too i feel like the people around you kind of stops you stop you from doing this so it's not the time to listen to other people as i told validation will come later right now just don't wait for that validation go and chase your dreams yes it might not make sense to other people but this makes sense to you and that's enough so let's see and as you go forward you will as you chase your wildest dream the abundance will follow not only in the form of money and happiness as well you'll be very happy so trust your heart and make this decision it's not an impulsive decision that's what the message is here from your spirit guides so let's see yes trust in the higher forces yes you don't know where you're going uh, how how things will be uh, yes again the uncertainty is the problem isn't it so it's like you have this idea you need to start it you know that you want to start it but you don't know where it's leading so the uncertainty is very real here and you know what we cannot know the whole picture anyways we have to walk the path in order to know where where the destination is we have to travel in order to get to the destination so we cannot just jump uh, without you know we cannot just jump isn't it so here it's okay if you are uncertain it's okay just trust in yourself and trust that higher power will always protect you and they will give you the justice they will give you what you're giving okay so trust your again this owl is telling you to trust your own heart trust your own wisdom trust your own feelings and take action so let's see what else yes so again this can look again you're very creative in nature we have oh my god i have to i have to uh, cover us because youtube is sometimes very strict again so like emotions and freedom and uh, so it, it feels like uh, you're very creative people you have certain ideas that you, uh, you that you you are very inspired to follow you 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 want to live a life that is full of freedom you want to uh, yeah you want to do something that not everyone is doing you want to live a life like not everyone else is living you know in the you know you are you are in a you are in an environment where other people have a same kind of lifestyle and you don't want that you want something else right yes it's time to trust your emotions it's time to trust your creativity right and take action take action yes it's again in this card uh, i didn't uh, i covered it because she's naked it's time to be vulnerable yes can you be vulnerable <laughs> if so you will get that freedom that you're aiming for so express yourself do what's right for you because you know what's right that's what the message is okay so let's see the final piece of information from your angels here so from this angel deck angel numbers deck so let's see the final piece of information oh my god that's a lot okay so the final message is for group number two Oh, look it's time to make the change with the number five i feel felt like that it's time to make the change guys it's time to cha uh, chase your dreams it's time to uh, take action on that wildest idea that you had it's time to trust your emotions and free yourself from those baggages that you don't have to carry that uh, you know the validation that you're aiming for free yourself from that and go and chase your dreams and the abundance will follow here right and you are if if it's about travel if you're uh, if you want to move to a different country you will be adapting very well if it's a new job that you want you will be adapting very well okay you have that flexibility is your forte when life throws you a curveball you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change be brave and bold in your endeavors so this is the time to be be, be brave you can you can make that change you have it in you you have that wisdom you have that knowledge are you ready for this new beginning are you ready to make that shift 
if yes divine is with you you can make your wildest dreams come true group number two that's the message that your spirit team spirit guides wanted you to know today i hope it made sense i hope it resonated i hope it gave you the inspiration that your spirit team really wanted to give to you <laughs> okay so i hope uh, you can do what's best for you i hope you listen to your heart i hope you have the courage to listen to your heart uh, so that's all i have uh, for group number two, hope it made sense, hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, so Namaste. Group number three, you have chosen this Durga Kalika with 11 number and uh, the fairy charm. And I would lo like to call uh, this charm as Godmother. So, yes, you're being protected, guys. You're protected. Your work is protected. Your family is protected. Uh, your career is protected. Your money is protected. Everything is protected. You're safe. You're safe. You've been protected by the invisible. <laughs> I really feel like that um yeah your health your wealth your well-being so right now just prioritize yourself i even feel like you are someone who is actually doing the work you are actually focusing on your spirituality you are doing all the responsibilities very well you're taking care of other people so sometimes you feel like you're giving a lot but you're not getting anything back you're going to get that you're going to uh, see your hard work pay you're re you're getting you're getting the rewards you will be but it's going to be coming at a very unexpected time. It's going to be like this sudden victory that you will be getting. But it's not that you're getting all the things out of love, luck. It's because you have been working. But I feel like you're getting the victory. Yes, whatever you have given, you're going to get it back. Like things are coming full circle for you guys. I feel like that. So let's see more. Uh, I feel like your psychic abilities are also um, heightened. Uh, yeah, for some of you are clairvoyant and you will see in the coming days you will be receiving a lot of messages. Uh, so trust that. Or you, you are already seeing a lot of numbers or a lot of signs. Trust. I feel like it's it's a way of your spirit team to tell you that, that you are on the right track. Uh, keep going. They're, I feel like they are encouraging you to keep going because there is a little bit of disappointment here. Uh, so here uh, your spirit team is telling you to have more faith in your work, in yourself rather than having more faith in fear. So if you're giving more faith to fear, stop. Okay. So let's see what else. You have been a little bit stuck. I feel like you have been feeling like your progress is not happening. That's going to change. Okay. So let's see what is the urgent message from your spirit guides. Urgent and uh, messages and guidance. You need to trust. You need to be more observant as well because you're receiving a lot of signs, synchronicities. Okay, so be more observant. Mm, my God, that's uh, I'm, I didn't feel it. So let me just look. Hmm, you're healing from this thing, this five of swords. So whatever that has put a hole in your heart, you're healing from it. You're healing from that. If a person did that, you're healing from that thing. You're letting go of that person. You are, you are completely healing. Yes. If there has been a situation like this in the past, if you had to deal with some sort of narcissistic people in your life, you're completely healing. You're now not going to give any emotions, any to, anything to that. If you had asked that question, yes, you have healed this thing. I really feel like that. That's a message here. And no person, no people have control over you anymore. Hmm. So you're waiting for something, right? You have been, look again, we have the two of pentacles and the hermit. This is someone who is balancing everything, right? I, uh, I feel like you are someone who is, you who is doing your responsibilities very well. You are taking action. You are focused on your spirituality. But there is some sort of... Uh, things that you want something that you're trying to manifest and you feel like you have been doing everything that you can do but you're not getting the results so there is so maybe for some of you this five so five of sword is like you giving that pain to yourself because you feel like no matter what you do nothing is going to come out that's not at all true that's just an illusion here uh, i feel like um, the results that you want to see the work that you have been doing you, the work that you have been doing you're going to see the results you're going to get the success so don't worry i feel like your spirit guides are seeing you how much you have been balancing two things how much you have been doing 
I, I feel like you have been uh, having a balance between your spiritual and your uh, life, right? Personal life. You're balancing things very, very well. And they're proud of you. They're proud of, proud of you. You have gained so much of wisdom, knowledge. You have, you have been working on yourself, right? You have been healing from things. Um, but there is something that is bothering you. There is some sort of success that you want. You're not getting. But it, it, is, it is coming. Don't worry. That's what it is. Okay, so let's see. Group number three. Urgent messages from your spirit guides. Enjoy the waiting game. That's what I heard. We have the father of wands. Okay, if there's uh, because this uh, this came in reverse. If there is a person in your life, for some of you, if there is a person in your life uh, that uh, really there was a person in it feels like a past energy. If there was a person who really you know, again, this person's heart is whole. They're tying it up. They're trying to heal it, but they didn't heal it. But finally, you're healing from this person. Maybe this person had a lot of control over you. Finally, you're healing that thing. You, you, you are, even if you see now this person, nothing. You will not feel anything. You have healed that thing. That's one thing I'm seeing here. Yes, again, we have this five of wands energy here. So yes, there has been a little bit conflicts, right? Uh, I feel like, that's what you're healing. It's, it's about your healing journey. For some of your spirit team is telling you that you have healed something in your life. You have healed your past. And now you're ready for a bright future. So don't worry. Don't worry about anything. Any past people returning. I feel like many of you don't have that worry. Or maybe you're asking whether I will be put in the situation like that happened in my past. No, you will not. You have achieved a lot of wisdom. You have gained a lot of wisdom. Uh, nothing like that uh, that happened in the past is going to happen because your future is very very different from your past okay so yes this is changing yeah you're not going to be uh, with these kinds of people who really break your heart for their own good yes yes you're the magicians you're the manifester you're the powerful manifester now you are only going to manifest what you want to manifest in your life right we have the temperance as well yes you have gained again as i told you, you are balancing two things very very well you're balancing your spirituality and your practicality very well you're spiritual yet you're practical yes you have been working on something you have been working working on your dreams your goals you're doing whatever you can do and yes all your manifestations are going to come true and nothing like this past that if you have failed in the past that's not going to happen your future is brighter so stop worrying guys Stop worrying. Nothing is going to go wrong. Things are going to be in balance. So again, I feel like 1111 is a number that you see often. And it, it, it is a number you're seeing. Right now, maybe the reason you're seeing this number is your spirit team reminding you that they are behind your back. They're supporting you. Your work is protected. Your career is protected. Whatever is near to you, everything is protected. Everything is safe. And the work that you're doing, the way you're balancing, the way you're improving yourself is awesome. They are applauding you for that. So understand that you are a powerful manifesto. You are going through a major glow up, I feel like that. So keep prioritizing yourself. Keep doing you. Yes, I feel like you are prioritizing yourself. You are working on yourself. You are learning new skills. You are, you are working, you know, in balancing your anxiety, your stress. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And you will get whatever you want. You are going to get the success that you've been working towards, okay? So that's what the message is here. Okay? So don't worry. Your future is going to be very different from your past. A lot of success I see for you guys. Okay, I felt this one. Wow, ritual. Oh, for some of you, you might have done a ritual. Uh, uh, in the past. Yeah, maybe uh, we had this full moon. Uh, yeah, uh, so I feel like you have done some sort of manifestation ritual or something like that. I feel like that uh, that manifestation of yours is definitely coming true. So you are someone who is a powerful manifester. And if you have done a, any ritual, that is going to come true. So yes, your prayers are going to be answered. Your prayers are going to come true. Your wish is going to come true. And if you have a ritual, a morning ritual or a evening ritual, continue doing it because it is actually good for your health it's it is actually good for your mind so keep doing that ritual okay your wishes are coming true yes 
So keep doing you. Listen to the uh, inner calling. Listen to yourself. Prioritize yourself. And yes, if you have the fear, right? With this five of swords, this can be your fear. I feel like that five of swords and five of wands. This is your fear. What if my manifestation don't come? What if I will not get success? That's not true. Let it go. Nothing of that will happen. Your future is so much brighter. So yes, keep on learning. Keep on. You know, it's time for you guys to discipline. Uh, you know, discipline. Discipline your mind. Okay because uh, you are working on that i feel like so keep on working on that you're on the right track i have to say that with your manifestations and whatever you want to manifest it's coming so just balance yourself you're doing it good so keep doing that and you are protected you are safe no one can no one can come and sabotage anything for you okay so that's one thing you're being protected Wow, look, we have intuition. Yes, your intuition. Again, we have the clairvoyance. Uh, yeah, again, you know, with this third eye, your third eye is open. Your third eye is opening. You can see the truth. You know that. For some of you recently, you might have felt like this thing that your manifesting will come. Yes. And I have to say that you're very, very powerful manifestors as well. You might have been noticing that your intuition has been true. So trust that. Maybe uh, small, small things you're manifesting very, very fast. And like that, only the big things that you want, you will be manifesting. So trust your intuition, trust your inner self. The past is over. Your future is going to be so much brighter. Uh, and you're going to achieve your uh, wish that you have. Your wish is coming true, definitely. So I have intuition and know how to use it. I trust my intuition. I listen to my inner visions, imagining messages and sense of knowing, allowing my intuition to guide me. I release the need to know and allow my intuition to develop at a pace that's right for me. I'm guided here. So trust your intuition, okay? Trust the messages that you're receiving. Trust your own heart here. So let's see what else. Oh, wow. Look, <laughs> you're very intuitive. See beyond the current situation. Yes, if you trust your intuition, you will know that this is just your fear. Yeah, so just, just be patient right now. So the work that you're doing, you're balancing things very well. You're disciplining your mind. You're, uh, I, I feel like you're someone who knows that our thoughts create reality. And you're very, very disciplined. You're very disciplined with your thoughts. Whenever these past events come, you are someone who is very aware that you don't have to dwell in it, right? And you, you do that. You release that. You work on that. And you're doing, your, doing an amazing job. But sometimes, sometimes things come at the correct time. It's just divine timing, I feel like. Whatever you're doing is correct. You're at the correct pace. You're at the correct uh, place in your life right now. Sometimes because of uh, uh, our vision, right? Because uh, we com sometimes we compare ourselves to other people. That's why we feel like we are behind. No, you're not behind. You are going at the pace that is best suited for you. But there are things that need to come in order to get what you want, right? There is certain dreams that you have and you're trying to manifest it and you're doing the amazing job. But there are things that need to come in order for you to fulfill. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I hope you understood. Like there are things that need to come in order for you to get this wish to come true. So that's why this wait. It's not because you're doing anything wrong. So you have this feeling if I'm doing anything wrong, if I am on the right track, you are. Okay, so don't worry. Keep going. Keep going. There is something, you know, that you're not seeing right now. That's uh, the reason is that because there is some sort of people, some sort of scenarios need to come in order for you to fulfill this wish of yours. So that's why. So just wait. Be patient. So let's see the final angel message for your group number three. Oh wow, look, we have the 888 and we have 55. <laughs> so 88. Yes, again, your abundance. As I told you, your uh, future life is so much brighter. And you are, in, you are a powerful manifestor with this infinity. You can create anything that you want. And you, you're using your thoughts very wisely as well. You're doing everything. Yes, you might be asking that question to yourself. I'm doing everything. I'm, I'm spiritual right now. I'm trying everything. I'm doing my best. I'm changing my uh, uh, thoughts. I'm working on myself. I'm more empathetic now. I'm more compassionate. I'm trying to understand other people. Then why this thing is not happening? So there is something 
that is needed you have maybe you have to learn maybe there are people that need to come that's why this is not happening right now but it's going to happen it's yours whatever this wishes it's yours don't worry as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you you are clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance so if there is some sort of stress regarding this thing this is the time to change that clear that okay because there is little fear I see. So again, I was talking about uh, don't give that faith to your fear. Rather have faith that whatever you want is going to come. So have more faith. Okay. So substantial change is in your future. Yes, this thing is going to change. So if you're not seeing the results, you're going to see the results. So have a ritual. Uh, practice gratitude. I see that you. I, I really feel like you're doing. You're doing. Keep going like this. Whatever you're doing, it's working out. Keep going. It's just the timing. You know, it's about the timing, I feel like. Uh, don't focus too much on it. It's going to happen. Just keep going. Just keep going. It's, it is going to come. It is going to come suddenly. The success that you want, it's coming. Don't worry. Sust uh, substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Yes, you. for some of you, you need to let go of certain fears. That's what you're learning. This thing is yours. Don't worry, okay? Uh, for, for some of you, five of swords is that. What if I don't get this wish of mine? It will break my heart. No, nothing of that will happen. So sometimes some things take time. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's because we need to learn certain lessons or maybe it's because the timing is not right uh, for us to get this thing. So that's the only thing. OK, so that was that. That was the message for you guys. Group number three. Hope it made sense. Hope it cleared something for you guys. Uh, if it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.